for the majority of my bottom bait angling um, and also fishing over bits of silt and low lying weed um, I use this rig which features fluorocarbon um, I like to use quite a stiff fluorocarbon with a helicopter rig fluorocarbon's always pushing that hook bait away from the lead um, as long as that hook bait is slow sinking um, and the helicopter rig's always digging into the dirt leaving it nice and proud so I like to use the inner of N-trap just a tiny bit stiffer than the supernatural that we do um, it's just my preference so all you need to do is take some of the coating off can use a strip at all I just use my teeth to be honest so you take the coating off like so then trim the supple section like that then what you need to do is tie a simple hair using an overhand knot Hands are absolutely freezing, so apologies if I'm shaking a bit. Pop the loop back through there, like so. Grab the needle to tighten the knot down. There we go, there's the hair formed like that. Just keep everything nice and tight. Okay, there's the hair finished. Now you need to take your bait, which has got to be slow sinking and these are just nice little balanced Monster Red Specials here. Pop the needle through the bait like so, transfer that onto the hair. And the reason you're using a balanced bait is because it's sinking slowly through, through the water, allowing the rigidity and the fluorocarbon to push it away from the lead. And that's absolutely key in this rig. Anyway, that's popped onto the hair like that. Get a bait stop. Pop the bait stop into the bait, or oh, sorry, into the hair. Pull it tight like that. I like these nice little yellow ones, gives it a fleck of colour. So that's that bit finished. Then you need to gain a bit of silicon tubing. Trim a bit of that off. Just get a nice straight bit. Like that. Then pop the silicon tubing onto the baiting needle. Now all this silicon tubing is going to do is hold the, the hair tight to the shank so that it can't tangle. So pop that onto the baiting needle like so. Then get your supple section, transfer it, transfer the tubing onto the supple section, like that. Take that down the link to the wards of the bait. Okay, now you need to get your hook and poke the point through the tubing. Try not to nick the tubing while you're doing it, it does happen but try not to slide that up the shank of the hook like so now's the time to measure the length of your hair I don't like them too tight you want a little bit of movement there about there's perfect now whip up a simple knotless knot so one two three four five six seven eight turns moisten it take it back through the eye always goes through the front like so okay now tighten that down like that I then trim the supple section like that you've got a tiny little short section there so that's the supple section nearly finished it will be looking rather short at the moment but what you need to do is just blob this using a flame like that and that'll blob down to the eye and go nice and tight basically that will stop the supple section from pulling back through so what I'm doing here is I'm using the fluorocarbon as the main boom and then a nice soft supple hair so now you need to do the fluorocarbon section I use nice stiff IQ2 in my opinion, I like to use the stiffer the better. So take a section of that off. Then you gain your supple section and basically you need to poke that through the eye. Just make yourself a little gap from where that blob is. So you need to get it through. Okay, so you go through the eye with the fluorocarbon like so, that goes out the back 
take that down. I'm not sure what this knot's called. I think it might be a dom off. But anyway, you take a long, long tag of fluorocarbon. I pinch it against the shank of the hook like so. Form a little loop like that, whilst holding it all nice and tight. Then whip around the supple knot. So one, two, three. Then moisten it down. Then you take that tag back through that loop that you created originally. I pull that tag end down and I hold it with my teeth. It's just easier to tighten. Bed it down like that. Then whilst holding the hook point, you've got to pull the hook point to bed the knot down as well. Not the hook point, the actual hook bend even. That just tightens everything down nicely. Okay, so the point just gone into the bait there. And then you need to trim the tag end, the fluorocarbon. Sorry, it's a bit fiddly and I've got cold hands. So trim the tag end of the fluorocarbon. And that leaves it like that. And then just to keep the gape, rather than closing the gape right up like that, I like to put another bit of tube in on the fluorocarbon. So Trim the length of the rig that you want, like so. Take a slightly larger section of silicon tube in. I'm not sure what sizes they are. I think it's 0 0.75 this one. Trim that off. Like that. Place the tubing onto the fluorocarbon. Slide it all the way down towards the hook. And then, this is actually a tricky bit, but I moisten the hook eye just to try and get the tubing over easy, easier. And then the tubing will eventually, with a bit of love and care, the tubing will go over the eye, just to the top of the fluorocarbon knot. And then you have it. A lovely, lovely little fluorocarbon rig. This caught me, well it caught me a 47 pounder this year, so I was pretty happy with that. And uh, yeah, you can pretty much take that everywhere. Lovely little rig.